I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Crest. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Arthur. Dutch, I need you to do me a favor. Nothing too serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. <sighs> okay. Dutch, messing up our shot. He can see that we are filming here. He just doesn't care. I thought we might have a conversation about Hosea's Raven Black Shire, the giant horse that Hosea literally gives to Arthur at the start of Chapter 2. There are so many horses in this game, and it's easy to overlook this big fella. And yes, I am well aware that I spelled bastard wrong in the title and the thumbnail. It is a Quentin Tarantino reference, and I'm very disappointed that I have to explain that to you. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. You get this horse in story mode, early in Chapter 2, in the mission entitled Exit, Pursued by a Bruised Ego, which is a Shakespeare reference, in case you are interested. This mission is important because it unlocks both the stables and the legendary animals. You also get a free horse brush, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's talk to Hosea and trigger the cutscene. Hosea? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Note the Bodicea reference. We have discussed Bodicea at length, and I am working on another Bodicea video as we speak, but it is not this one. Let's move on. Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no boat to see. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way. Sort of. If there's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. We also unlock the remove saddle prompt. I guess you're right. Just get this adjusted, boy. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. Okay, free horse. Let's ride to the stables. Days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Calendar Boy's reference here, just establishing the backstory of Arthur and the gang, and also a chance for Arthur and Hosea to decompress and actually talk after the chaos of Blackwater and Chapter 1. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. 
Uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Bill and Phil. It seems Bill might enjoy the company of men and practice the love that dares not speak its name. To paraphrase Oscar Wilde from 1892, I thought about making a video on this subject and decided against it. Arthur isn't particularly interested in Bill's romantic pursuits, so why should we be? The heart wants what the heart wants, and as for me, I just want to play with the horses. Yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? I wanted to do a little first person here for the Instagram. Be done right, huh? You're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Yeah, okay, boy. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Uh, he's all right. Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. And the stables are now open. We have the option to stable or sell this horse, and we will keep him. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. The Shire, to quote Wikipedia, is a British breed of draft horse. It is usually black, bay, or gray. It is a tall breed, and Shires have at various times held world records, both for the largest horse and for the tallest horse. The Shire has a great capacity for weight pulling. It was used for farm work to tow barges at a time when the canal system was the principal means of goods transport and as a cart horse for road transport. One traditional use was for pulling brewer's drays for delivery of beer, and some are still used in this way. Others are used for forestry, for riding, including side saddle, and for commercial promotion. Shires are huge, strong, and solid, easily the biggest horses in the game, certainly not the fastest or the bravest and I feel Shires have a very gentle and friendly nature as far as attitudes go, much like the humble Tennessee Walker or Kentucky Saddler. They are okay at hunting. Their height certainly lends an advantage, especially with bison. You're okay, boy. Yeah. Idiot. And here's a wild boar. You know Arthur loves his pork chops. That massive height can work at a disadvantage sometimes. Crest. Not the most graceful of horses. Let's move on. How about cougars? That will go just about as well as expected. Yep. Shires are big scaredy cats and they do not really know their own strength, which I certainly find to be extra charming. A gentle giant, if you will, 
much like Lenny from Of Mice and Men. I wonder if Shires like rabbits. That's a Steinbeck joke for you. I hope you got it. No worries, that cougar is only sleeping. <coughs> and the Shire is still afraid, even though Arthur got that mean old kitty cat and won't even cross the river for a closer look. I am not happy taking these big guys into combat because of their friendly nature. However, they trust Arthur and are surprisingly effective at stomping O'Driscoll's. Also, Lemoyne Raiders. And you walk and do you? What us Raiders gave for it? You ever been in the army? Yeah, boy. Hmm. Didn't think so. <laughs> Arthur has to explain to the Shire that sometimes you have to be mean to stop other people from being mean. Shires don't like being mean. It doesn't come naturally to them like it does with an Ardennes or an Andalusian. It'll look great on your horse. At level 4, the Raven Blackshire comes in at a surprising 7 health and 7 stamina. That's not bad. That's respectable. Strong and solid. No speed, however. Bravery is questionable. However, much like the Arabians, Shires think bravery is overrated. Now, you and that horse are always welcome. Ah, sorry, boy. Hi there, mister. Arthur and the Raven Blackshire will take a moment to pose for the thumbnail in the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast-related content, and our Discord. As far as I know, this is the only Raven Blackshire in the game, which makes him a unique horse, much like Arthur's Chapter 1 Mahogany Bay Tennessee Walker, or Buell, the Cremello Gold Dutch Warmblood, or John's Rachel, the Seal Brown Thoroughbred. And as I said at the start of this video, Hosea gives Arthur this horse that has to count for something. Hosea is so important in Arthur's life, and I am certain Arthur would feel sentimental about this horse and would happily keep him if only he had more stable slots. Perhaps you will keep him for Arthur and Hosea. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second channel that features more podcast-related content in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews. And also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. Oh,
Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure.